solve the mystery of Chase's distance, we visited Dr. Robert Neal, an acclaimed golf physicist and founder of Golf Biodynamics. Chase. Chase. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to and meet you. I know that um, Justin Thomas has a reputation for being able to generate serious club head speed for a little guy, but I think you might be uh, right in there with him. Maybe even exceed it. We'll start with six iron because it's a bit of a jump to go to, to uh, drive straight away. If you look at the way um, Chase is built compared to the way that the young guns on the main tour these days is diminutive in stature. I would say typically the guys these days are over six feet, probably closer to 185, maybe even 190 pounds, and, and pretty ripped. For a precise conclusion, we hooked Chase up to Dr. Robert Neal's golf biodynamics technology. What this will do is measure exactly the position of Chase's body at every moment during the swing. How the body's been <laughs> And now it was time to record the actual data with the driver. So Chase, this is a quick look at it to start with. And there are a couple of things that you do really well. On the backswing, massive upper torso or shoulder turn on the backswing. 130 degrees approximately with your driver. So that gives you a big distance over which to turn your body during the downswing and to generate energy or create speed. I mean, that's just phenomenal for, for a little guy like you. I mean, even with the kit on is, is pretty stellar. To see Chase be able to generate the equivalent club head speeds or maybe even faster than some of those guys is pretty impressive because at 125 pounds or even a little lighter than that I mean you just got to know that he's doing things well in the swing in order to be able to generate that sort of speed. After hitting 20 shots Chase sat down with Dr. Robert Neal for a preliminary look at the readings and to understand how he hits the ball so far. So Chase, what, what I've done here is compared your average data with some of the stats I have from Justin and also some PGA Tour stats. For example, look at your uh, club head speed with your six iron. It's about the same as Justin's. But when we went to the driver, you'll see your club head speed's actually higher than his. So pound for pound, you're definitely outperforming him. You were swinging it faster than he was. I mean, there's no one on the long drive circuit who's, who would be under six feet, feet. 123 pounds, you can generate as much speed as this. All of those things are what constitutes a great golf swing for generating energy. Thank you very much. Yeah, likewise, I really do.